There is a new experimental way to lower your blood pressure without medication. It's a unique approach that's all part of a study at the Lifespan Cardiovascular Institute in Providence, Rhode Island. Hi, Mary. Hi. Mary Elkins is checking in with cardiologist Dr. Herb Arano. So important that people volunteer to be in these trials. A few months ago, Mary, who has high blood pressure, enrolled in a study at the Miriam Hospital looking at a unique approach to lowering high blood pressure without medication. Well, it turns out that the kidneys uh, play a really important role in controlling blood pressure and communicate directly with the brain through the nervous system. So there are nervous impulses that travel back and forth between them, and sometimes they're overactive. The thinking is if you can interrupt that communication by permanently and intentionally damaging those nerves in the kidney, that blood pressure might might come down. We suspect, based on what we know so far, that we're going to find there's a lower blood pressure in people that get the treatment versus those that don't. That's what Mary is hoping. And did the study, I believe it was like it was running like 145, 150, and sometimes over to 160, over 90, 95, and that was on medication. For this study, patients must stop taking their blood pressure medications. However, they're closely monitored. Yep, I take my blood pressure probably four or five times a day. This is how the intervention works. So we take a tiny tube, a catheter, we go into a blood vessel in the groin, and we travel up to the kidney arteries, and we deliver energy. We call it radio frequency energy to the artery to try to damage the nerves that run through it. Very innovative, something you might want to talk to your doctor about. Only half the people in the trial got the full treatment, and doctors won't reveal that information until about six months from now. They also will have the results by then on how well this treatment worked.